What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that's designed to help you quickly add damage to your objects. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so one-click damage is a tool that's designed specifically to help you add procedural damage to your objects in Blender. This can be really valuable for if you're dealing with things like stone or something like that, and you want these to actually look like stone blocks as opposed to something that looks kind of like perfect like this. This is a fast, easy way to do this. Now, note that there is a free version as well as a personal license version right here. So the difference um, you can see in the little list down at the bottom of the page down here. So the light version is going to allow you to make damage, use the smart scaling and use noise selection. And then down below, the full version is gonna give you a bunch of other features like the pattern changer, multi-selection, as well as the recall button or the recall ability. So the multi-selection tool to me by itself kind of would make this worth this because otherwise you have to run it just over and over and over again. Um, but that's kind of up to you. If you do want to download it for free and give it a try, you can definitely do it using the free version right here. And I'll link to this in the notes down below. But basically, okay, and so in to, to enable that, you need to download the zip file that comes with this. And then you just want to make sure that you've enabled this object OCD um, right here. And so once you've done that, that's gonna give you a window over here on the right-hand side of the page. And you can tap the N letter key on your keyboard in order to pop that out. But basically what that's gonna do, so if I click on this, it's going to add damage right here. So it's basically as simple as it sounds. You can click on this and you can add damage. Now note that you can adjust things like the amount of damage as well as the scale of the damage using a slider right here. So if I click and drag this, notice how I'm getting a different look for the damage that's in here. Now this is using different kinds of noise. And so in this case, for example, I don't necessarily like the way the clouds looks. So what I might do is I might click on something like the marble option. So when I click on the marble option, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a different kind of damage in here. So there's five different damage types all together. And each one of them is gonna give you a slightly different look. And so you can kind of play with this until you get the kind of damage that you like in here. Note that there is a wood damage down at the bottom as well that's probably more suited to wood. But in this case, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go with the marble, and um, we're going to go ahead and adjust the scale a little bit. And then we're going to click on apply. And I'm going to bring the amount up about like this. And so one of the cool things about this is not only can you use this on singular objects, you can also use this on multiple objects. So let's say I wanted to add damage to this arch as well as this floor right here. I can just select them both, at least with the paid version, um, and then click on make damage. That's gonna come in here and that's gonna add damage to all of those like that. And so one thing to note about that though, is if you do click on the make damage, notice how it's not gonna give you the ability to adjust these if you have multiple different objects selected. Uh, you're gonna wanna go in here and just adjust those individually. But again, if you get the paid version, there's an option here for recall, which is just going to remove that. And then I can just run this again. And so notice what I'm able to do is I'm able to adjust the scale of the damage that's in here, as well as the amount of the damage. And we can also select different options depending on what we wanna do, like this. And so one cool place to use this is if you use it in conjunction with the new trowel add-on, which um, I've already talked about last week, but basically it's a brick wall generating add-on for Blender. And what it does is it allows you to really quickly create brick walls with actual brick geometry. Well, one of the things that, that can be really useful with something like this is it also gives you the ability to if you were to come in here and select the bricks that are associated with this wall, and so what you can do is you can come in here and you can select these bricks, which it's basically using to make up this wall, and notice how what it does is it adds that pattern to that wall like this. And so that wall either has a low poly option, which is just going to use the bricks at the top here. And so if I wanted to add that to all of those, I could select the high poly options right here. I could select those. So I could select those options right here. I could click on make damage. That's gonna go through and that's going to add damage to these bricks. If you ever get something like this, you can just uh, select it and click on the change pattern option. And it's just going to go back in there and rerun this. That change pattern option is basically going to re-randomize this like this. But now if I was to switch this wall, 
But now if I was to switch this wall to the high poly option like this, then it's gonna come in here and it's gonna use those high poly bricks um, in order to do that instead. You can use this in order to quickly add wear to your uh, bricks and stones using trowel as well. And so this works pretty well with live geometry. So let's say I had a box like this and I added damage to it. Well, I could either apply that and then recall it um, or I could just change it right there. But if I was to come in here and edit and adjust this, so let's say I was to just add some loop cuts like this. And let's say that I was just to extrude some of this up and out a little bit and then run it again. Notice how I can really quickly adjust this to make it look like worn stone and the results look really good inside of Blender. So I'll link to that add-on in the notes down below. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about one-click damage. If you've tried it, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.